this video, we're going to talk about Facebook carousel ads. How can you easily create these for your business? Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Like and share so more people can see this video. All right, check this out. So this ad right here, it's called a carousel ad on Facebook. Why? Because these it's a carousel of multiple pictures. It could be images. It could be videos. And it's actually really, really cool. If you have multiple products on sale, maybe you have e-commerce store or in this case, it's a physical store but they have multiple products on sale, you're able to show your different products in one ad. So this right here is one Facebook ad, but we're showing a carousel, a collection of products. So how do you create Facebook carousel ads? Let's jump into this. So let's go to Facebook ads manager. Let me go all the way back. So you're gonna log into your Facebook ads manager. Step number one, you're gonna create a campaign. Now. The first step when you create a Facebook ad campaign is what's the objective? What do you want people to do when they see your carousel ads? So for example, right here, our objective is we want people to send us a message. So that's, you can call these uh, messenger ads, but let's go back here. Let's say your goal is to, when people see that carousel, you want them to click on that image and then go to a page where they can buy that product, right? In that case, the our engagement or our campaign objective is traffic. We want to send traffic to our website or landing pages. So let's send traffic, hit continue. Now you can do the recommended setting or manual traffic campaign. I'm going to do manual, hit continue. All right, so again, three-step process, campaign, ad set, and ad. Those are the three steps that you do when you create a Facebook ad campaign. I'm gonna name it a test campaign. Let's scroll down, everything looks good. I do not wanna do any A-B testing. I do not wanna do any campaign budget optimization. That's topic for a separate video. Let's hit next. T uh, ad set name, second step is the ad set. This is where you wanna define your target audience. Who do you wanna show your ad to? If you're local business, maybe it's uh, your city, maybe it's certain zip codes. Uh, if your e-commerce business, maybe you want to send it to people who are interested into your type of uh, stores like fashion, uh, food, whatever. Now scroll down, conversion location. So in my example right here, what we discussed, we want to send traffic to the website. We do not want to send traffic to the messaging app. That's the example I showed you right here. But for the purpose of this demo, let's do website. So we want to send traffic. When people see the carousel, we want to send them to the landing page where they can actually buy it, uh, buy the product. Uh, performance goal, that's fine. What's your budget? Uh, whatever your budget is, set that budget here. Uh, you can schedule, you can set a start date and end date of this ad campaign or leave it blank. Now, who do you want to target? Again, like I said, depending on, so my example, it's a local business. So we are going to select that city and let's say 10 mile radius. So that's our target audience. All right, placement. So we want to show our ad on all the placements, Facebook, mobile, desktop, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Hit next. Now, this is where the magic happened. At the ad set level, I'm going to call it carousel test ad. All right, make sure you have the right Facebook page and Instagram uh, page selected so your ad show up on the right page. If you have several pages like me, it's always a challenge because you do not want to show ad of a client A on Facebook page of client B because that's going to look funny. Uh, this is the key setting that you need to make sure. At the ad set, it's a create ad and then creative source. If you scroll down, manual upload and then the format this is where you want to it shows right here carousel which means two or more scrollable images or videos which this is so these are scrollable images that's what we want again make sure you do a create ad because if you do existing post then you're gonna have to select a post on your facebook page so we want to do create ad and manual upload and inside format make sure you select the carousel two or more scrollable image not single image not single video not collection we want to do a carousel now scroll down and now this is where carousel cards 
and you can select up to 10 cards so which means you can show up to 10 products so let's uh, click here add cards and then you can add videos or images I'm gonna add images and now since I've already uploaded here it's gonna show up all these products here but if you do not have your uh, images uploaded to you, your media library just click on upload and then you can upload these images from your computer in my case I've already uploaded these so I'm just gonna select these one two three four five all right let's go with eight and then hit continue and then for every ad or every image I should say it's gonna ask you for headline description in a URL where do you want to send people to so I'm gonna say for headline 40% off and then I can apply it to all cards. sometimes you may have separate offer for each product or each image in that case you do not have to do uh, apply to all cards you can do it separately because see right here this is the image this is the first image but if you scroll down you're gonna see here's the six two and all the other images so for now I'm gonna do apply it to all now it's gonna apply to all description is optional you can add more description if you want now website URL this is also important uh, in this example so for this client here is the landing page this is where all the products are listed so we want people to go to this page so I'm gonna go back here add that landing page here and then I'm gonna do apply to all but guess what you don't have to do this if your website setup is in a way where all the products on one page you have one product then for each image each carousel card you will add a separate uh, website URL so you'll add this first then you'll go here if I click on edit you'll add for this image and so forth but in this my example let me go back to the first image I am gonna do apply to all cards because for me all the products are listed on one page all right so now if you scroll down everything looks good fully optimized now this is where you're gonna select your add your primary text so I'm gonna say TMS or 40% off for New Year's and then add your copywriting whatever your Facebook ad copy is right here in the primary text click actually right here so here are some suggestions based on because uh, I've created other similar ads in this ad account so here you go here are AI kicking in and giving me different suggested text variation start the year off right with 40% off of your first order click now and say "Ooh, this is neat so based on what I enter it's giving me some text suggestion New Year's deal get ready to shine with our latest collection that's awesome it's kind of like having chat GPT hidden inside my Facebook ads manager that's neat all right scroll down what's my call to action that's the button that's gonna show up right here so let's do that button I wanna there are multiple options you can do shop now watch more apply now so there are different options I think for the purpose of this it makes sense to use shop now because we want to sell these products we want people to shop destination again uh, the website what's the see more URL you can add your landing page here what some people do is because landing pages are product pages are long so some here you can use simplified URL oh let me go let me close this and boom you are now done and as you can see right here it's a carousel Facebook ad and it's gonna show 40% off on all the images and also shop now button I could do a different text here for all of these images and whenever people click they will go to the landing page that we entered above and then once you're happy with everything make sure you review all the settings and then click on publish and your ad will go to Facebook in their approval queue this is how you can create a Facebook carousel ad to sell your products to drive people to your landing pages so they can buy stuff from you uh, any questions let me know before you go like and share this video so more people can see this and now I'll see you in this next video bye for now